Okay, so let's go through some powers of 10 calculations. When we multiply, we add the exponents, so 10 to the minus 5th times 10 to the 9th is going to be 10 to the 4th. When we add minus 4 and minus 8 to adding two negative numbers, gives you a negative number, so this will be 10 to the minus 12th. Note that 10 to the minus 12th is not a negative number, it's a positive number, it's just that the exponent is negative. Now, there is a moral to the story here. Very often in physics, we're making all these calculations, and we don't really know if our answer is right. But, most of the time, we can try to figure out a way to determine if our answer makes sense. And that's a very, very good habit of mind to form. Always ask yourself, does my answer make sense? So if we multiply with a number less than one, then our result should be less than the, the, that the, than the number we're multiplying against. So 10 to the minus fifth is less than one, and therefore 10 to the fourth should be less than 10 to the ninth. Similarly, here, 10 to the minus 4th is less than 1, and therefore 10 to the minus 12th should be less than 10 to the minus 8th. It doesn't really matter uh, what order you're thinking of. 10 to the 9th is greater than 1, so when you multiply by a number greater than 1, you should get your result, 10 to the 4th, should be something greater than what you're multiplying against here. And similarly, 10 to the minus 8th is less than 1, so our result, 10 to the minus 12, ought to be smaller than 10 to the minus 4th. So when we divide powers of 10, we subtract the exponents. 5 minus 8 is going to be minus 3. 4 minus a minus 7th is going to be 10 to the 11th. Minus 4 minus a minus 9 is going to be 10 to the 5th minus 2 minus 9 is going to be 10 to the 11th. Habit of mind. Do our answers make sense? Well, when you divide by a number less than, uh, greater than 1, then your result ought to be smaller than your numerator. When you divide by a number less than 1, your result ought to be greater than the numerator. Hmm. Here, we're dividing by something less than 1. Therefore, our result, 10 to the 5th, should be greater than 10 to the minus 4th. Here, we're dividing something uh, less than... Ooh. Well, will you look at that? It looks like I made a, a, a typo error. Well, that could have just been... You know, anyone can make those. But, on the exam, it costs you. And by asking myself whether or not the answer made sense, I caught the error. So I'm dividing by a number greater than 1, and therefore my answer should be less than the numerator. So this should be 10 to the minus 11th. That wasn't staged. I actually did that. Now, um, you've taken earth science, seafloor spreading. In the North Atlantic, the seafloor is spreading at about 360 centimeters per century. If we want to write that a different way, we could say that is 360 centimeters uh, times century to the minus one power. And the Oxford English Dictionary wants us to put a period here when we abbreviate.